Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created phases, we demolished some walls, and we created new parts. In this video, we're going to continue with step 5. Model new curtain walls to complete building elevations. So I'm going to go to level 1. Uh, I'm going to double check that we are on new exits. Going with architecture, uh, I'm going with a storefront wall. Uh, let's see which one, which type is the other one. That's just storefront. Okay, I'm gonna go with storefront wall, and uh, maybe in level one. Uh, well, we need to limit it to this end. I'm gonna start from here, and then we'll adjust its exact location, all the way till here. Now it seems that it's already. Uh, flushed with the outside that's what we need that was the previous wall this is the new one uh, make sure that the wall goes from level one all the way to the roof level uh, also on the other side we're gonna go with another wall level one to roof level till Till here, later we'll add a partition to wrap this place up. So I'm gonna just limit this to the edge of this wall. Uh, so I can align it AL. I'm gonna align it with the exterior edge, then I'll uh, locate the interior partition in a way that it just ends here. Model 400 flat roof over new exit stair enclosures on both ends. Uh, it's basically talking about this part. Uh, so maybe I can switch to my roof plane under floor plans. And uh, again, in this view, I need to go with the same settings in the phasing under new exits and show complete. So you see better now. Then I'm gonna go with a roof. It's a roof by footprint, 400 millimeter, no slope. And let's see, maybe we can pick uh, walls. Let's see, picking walls, how it works. It's all good and picking this wall here. So for there, uh, I believe it's better to go with exterior edge here. So later, when we're going to create that flashing, it's going to be continuous. So I'm going to go with exteriors, and in this part, I'm going to go with the arc, uh, start and radius. That's good. Then I'm going to raise the inside part. That's good. And on this end, uh, we have not modeled the actual roof over there. Uh, that's why maybe I can just pick up this wall here. And I'm going to use that to trim this area and then trim this area. Let's finish it and then we'll create a new one here. Uh, before that, let's take a look in section. So that's the roof, that looks all good. You can compare it with the section that we have here. So let's go back to the roof level. On the other end, I'm gonna go with architecture, roof is 400, no slope. Pick the walls, this one, this one, this one, and the storefront here. Then I can get rid of this part actually and draw my own arc by start end radius. And I'm going to trim these two, then these two, finish it, all good. Model new parapet flashing around existing and new portions of the roof. So basically, we're going to go with a continuous flashing, as you see here. The detail of it is uh, here that you see uh, in a 1 to 10. Before going on, see this existing storefront goes 0.4 meters, 400 millimeters above uh, the roof level. That's why it's leveled with our roof. So for the new parapets that I created, I want to assign 0.4 to the top offset. So it's going to be leveled and our flashing is going to be leveled. So I'm going to assign 0.4 to the top, which is 400 millimeters. Then I'm going to start 
modeling the flashing architecture component model in place type R going with a roof okay name it flashing okay let's go with a sweep I'm gonna pick the path the path is gonna be this edge here you can keep clicking and uh, on this end is gonna be the exterior edge keep clicking one click on each end is enough the rest of it so go with minimum clicks the rest of it we're just gonna use trim and it's gonna be trimmed here so now it's one continuous loop uh, I can design the flashing right here um, I would have better drawn a section before but I didn't but it's okay so uh, this is how the flashing is gonna look like so I'm gonna go with uh, a check mark here and then we're gonna go with edit profile I can draw it right here so on this end if this is 0.15 I want the flashing to go a bit inside uh, because we're gonna have a small uh, parapet wall next to that one so uh, if this is 0.1 till here I'm gonna go with 0.25 maybe so 0.25 which is 250 and um, the rest of it Uh, I'm going to move this up a little bit, let's say by 0.1, maybe I can move the other side up by 0.15, so it's a bit sloped, going to there, then I'll take care of these uh, little parts here and over there, that's to kind of orient the water away from the building. So 135, I'll go with 0 0.05 here, 5 centimeters. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna draw one line here from that corner, maybe 45 degrees, 0 0.05 should be good. I'm gonna offset this, let's say by uh, two, three centimeters over there, and then I can trim this side of it. And I can close this here. So that's the left side of it. Uh, let's draw the right side. I'm going to go with another 0 0.05 here. Offset this maybe by 0 0.02 on that side. There is this other one. Close that edge. And I'm going to trim this. If you are not comfortable in 3D, you can draw a section and work in section. I had a section, but the section should have been on uh, the other plane uh, to match with our path. So this seems good. I'm going to finish this and finish this. And it goes all the way around the new roof and the existing roof. All good. Finish the model. We are good with this step. And you can see it right here. Model 150 millimeter slab on grade, bottom of each new exit stairs. So for the floor, uh, I actually want to go to my footing level. In my footing level, I'm going to remove underlay known. Okay. Now, this is our foundation wall. Basically, the floor needs to be inside the foundation wall. So now I'm going to go with the floor. It's 150, but uh, before going on, I'm going to change the level to level 1. So I'm drawing it in footing level, but I want it to end up being on level 1. Then I can pick the inside of the foundation wall that we draw before. I'm going to wrap this here. So let's see if I can trim this side of it too and uh, finish this. Don't attach. So if you take a look here, it it's uh, surrounded by all the foundation walls. So the floor is within the foundation wall, so there is no gap, right? Uh, let's take care of the other side here. I'm going to go with a uh, floor just like the other one. I'm going to pick the inside of the foundation wall 
change this to level 1 although we are working on footing level this needs to be a level 1 floor uh, don't attach sometimes attaching messes up with uh, our detail so if I hide the wall here if I type HH you see that uh, and I can hide the, hide the stairs you see that that's where the floor uh, is located okay all good we are good with this step a uh, model 100 millimeter slab on level 2 and 3 to close a small gap in front of the stairs so here we didn't have a gap between the stairs and the actual floor because we had this foundation wall however we need to close that in level 2 and 3 so if I go to level 2 remember that we need to go with show complete face should be on new exits and here uh, I'm gonna change this to hidden line that is the floor and that is the stairs so there is a gap here uh, so in level 2 and in 3d I want to have them side by side I want to select this wall type HH I want to select one of the railings type HC which is for height category uh, if I show you here is for height category you see there is a little bit of gap here in front of the stairs and in front of the elevator so in level 2 I want to go with the floor but this time C is going to be 100 because the other one is also 100 so let's go with the floor in level 2 uh, make sure that the level is set to level 2 and uh, in this area I'm gonna go with pick lines I'm gonna pick the edge of the floor the edge of the stairs the edge of the wall and the edge of the wall in here uh, or excuse me the edge of the wall and this end is actually this one uh, so I'm gonna trim the rest so I'm gonna trim these two trim this one and I'm gonna trim this one and trim the other side so it's 100 millimeter it's on level 2 if I click on this piece of floor that's filling the gap in between the floor and the new elements I need it on the other end too so I can rotate around I'm gonna type HH here there's also a gap on this end so I'm gonna go with architecture floor on level 200 millimeter pick this edge pick this edge inside of the wall and inside of this uh, other wall this other line actually I'm gonna fill the gap by trimming trim and trim trim and trim okay don't pick too many lines just use trim finish it that's uh, what was missing here the rest of it over there is gonna end with that wall okay uh, so this was level 2 we're gonna have the same situation on level 3 so it's very easy you don't need to draw again just select this copy paste to selected level copy it on level 3 it's there also for the other one select that additional floor copy paste to selected level level 3 okay and next step we also need to model 100 millimeter slab on level 2 and 3 to close floor gap so let's go to level 2 it's talking about this gap I'm gonna go with floor architectural 100 millimeter a rectangle here uh, and again it's on new exits I'm gonna copy and paste it to level 3 so we filled that gap on the floor uh, next model additional exit doors on level 1 in existing curtain walls so let's see I'm gonna go to level 1 closing active views 
and let's compare our doors with the doors on this plan. We have that door. So if you compare the plan, it's talking about this door and that door over there. Uh, we already have the main entrance here, but we're going to need a second one here, then we'll add some vestibules. So I'm going to go with level 1 on the second area we're gonna go with a door which is on that part this one is gonna be a door so I'm gonna hit tab unlock this and I'm gonna go with edit type change it to single door okay uh, let's see if the swing is correct yes the swing side is correct then we will go with the other side we have the door over there the only issue is that if we add a vestibule it's not there so I'm gonna maybe demolish that door and add one over there uh, here because it's part of the curtain system demolish doesn't work as I want so I just wanna select this hit tab select this panel and I'm gonna switch it from edit type actually to system panel and okay you can also pin it and instead we're gonna have the door on the second area here hit tab unlock it edit type go with a single door okay and let's check the swing that's good that's exactly how I want it it should be towards outside if it's like this switch it towards outside so we have one door two doors three doors overall one two three we'll add the enclosure a bit later uh, that's it for this video thank you so much please like and subscribe for more videos